welcome to Twisted Shadows. Uh, really, I wanted to do my own little introduction as to why I prefer board games over video games. Um, I'd always been into video games, I was into Ratchet and Clank, I was into PS2 games, Xbox 360 games, uh, a whole range of lists that, you know, half of them I can't remember now, but there's still a few favourites like Darksiders, like Fable, um, RPG style games, fantasy style games generally. Um, anything that allowed me to be more sandbox and allow my character in the video game to pursue whatever they wanted to do. And you know, the more evil I was behaving, like in Fable 2, the more you look evil. So I really enjoyed that concept and thought that was really brilliant. Um, but then I noticed that video games were starting to be online only. So yeah, you could have two consoles. Yes. You could have two consoles, but then it'd be pointless because the game would only say on the back, offline, one player. Well, you want to play with friends, what are you going to do? Bring two consoles over or... You know, don't get me wrong, the split screen of a video game was never highly fantastic, but at least you got to be in the same room as somebody and play a game. So I think after meeting uh, my boyfriend, many more games. Lightning Fist, I believe he calls himself, which still makes me giggle. I shouldn't say that, but it does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Xander, I think he showed me Pandemic, and I loved it. I thought, wow, this is fantastic. I can really get the thematic, cinematic sort of style to everything, you know, and it was really, really fun. And then he showed me some zombie games, and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I'm a traditionalist. I grew up on Monopoly. I grew up on Scrabble. I did not grow up on Ludo or Uno, as far as I recall. I grew up on Cluedo. I, you know, uh, just playing cards, you know, those sort of things. Backgammon actually came much, much later to quite recent when I learnt how to play and actually really like it. So, you know, as traditionists, I still like the old games that we only ever knew existed, you know. So, the fact that I now know that there's Pandemic, that there's Samurai, that there's Ascension, that there's card games and board games and uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights and um, Fury of Dracula that I really, really want to get and you know all these all these amazing amazing games they're out there and we didn't know about much of them i mean zander had quite a lot collected already luckily but then we found you know people on youtube talking about games uh, plug in to shut up and sit down again because if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be trying to get my hands on monikers and also i bought my boyfriend uh, captain sona for uh, um, as a birthday present so you know they really they've really given us a lot of games that we either want or have already bought or all that sort of stuff you know, and video games, video games I still like, but I tend to watch Twitch streamers, uh, Christopher Odd and Splattercat Gaming, they're the main two. Um, I tend to go with Christopher Odd, whereas Ander goes with Splattercat. Splattercat is really, really funny and he has a really great sense of um, narrating as he's just playing a game, but uh, it's more indie games and that's fine. But the main reason I actually started watching Twitches was because that there were games that I'm too scared to play but I want to know the storyline I want to know what happens in the horror game and so I found Christopher Odd and I and I really enjoyed just watching him um, do do my reactions <laughs> except he's the one that's playing and he's the one that could die not me so yeah so that's one of the things um, I think board games and card games, I'm more inclined now towards card games, mainly because I like the ability to play solitaire mode. My boyfriend does not all the time want to play games, whereas I am like, do you want to play a game? Another game? Another game? Let's play another game. 
So I, I, I don't really know when to stop, whereas he knows when to stop. So I need games that I can also play solitaire mode, as I've already shown. Um, I've recently put up a video of me playing solitaire of um, the Lord of the Rings living card game which you can find. I'm not telling you the ending, you can watch it or skip to the end, I don't care what you do. But uh, yeah, that was, oh, now that was a really, really passionate and intense game out of the three that I've recently done. That's the third one, uh, that's the recorded one, and I'm losing my voice. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, there are other games that I like. I like um, Hive. Again, shut up and sit down. No, it wasn't shut up and sit down. It was a friend who had Hive. And uh, I really wanted Hive because it was like chess, but with insects, basically. And you know, you got to surround the queen. Um, I will do a tutorial if anyone thinks that's worth doing. But there's so many people that have done tutorials of games. I don't want to be that type of person that does one, but it's just not as good as another one that you can find. I will try and do a few just to give myself practice. So if there's a game that I don't think has actually gotten that much attention that I think it should, I will try and do one. But uh, yeah, I don't want to do it too much. I want to do more gameplays and yeah, just generally game throughs, gameplays, um, maybe a review of a game after I've played it, something like that. So that's kind of my style of channel that I think is going to develop. I'm watching you. <laughs> I wish you could see like the heart in my heart just going, don't eat the plant. But it's nice to get some fresh air in, so yeah. Um, so there's Hive, thanks to a friend. There's also another insect card game, which is like insect poker, where you have to pass a card, but you have to pretend like it's not the card you think it is, but it is the card, but it's not the card. And then if someone you know thinks that you're lying or you're telling the truth, something happens. I really want that sort of um, insect poker. I don't know what it's called. Um, that so I like bluffing games I like games that are funny witness I really want to get watching you uh, in uh, witness I really really want to get because I love the idea of whispering something and it being complete and utter BS so that would be really really fun for me to have so strategy games tactical games I like which now leads me on to Warhammer now when I first uh, started painting miniatures it was through my friend Richard Hi Richard. Um, he gave me some walls to paint and I was just using acrylic paints. I wasn't really using the proper Citadel or Viejo, Vallejo, Viejo, sorry, um, paints. I was just using normal standard canvas acrylic paints. Um, and I was enjoying it. I really liked it. And then I started wanting to learn more about it. Not the fluff. I have literally no interest in the fluff whatsoever. If it's evil and it looks good, I want it. That's pretty much it. So that is why I've got Chaos Slaves to Darkness for AOS. And it's really funny because my boyfriend got me Dark Eldar uh, to get me started into it. And I'm going, but the rules. But you guys, you guys have had all this time to know all these rules. And yet for me, I'm new and I've got to know the fluff for certain rules or to understand like why those rules are there in the first place. I've got to understand all these extras and already my head's exploding. Like I'm scared to play. I really don't want to mess up or look stupid or you know make my opponent be annoyed with me because i'm being very very slow or i'm not understanding how the rolls work or the dice blah 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 then the os came out and it was amusing because xander was very much no 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 how could they do this this is stupid this is stupid blah 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 and eventually he is one of the ones that has uh, converted to AOS. He likes it as much as he likes the previous and he can see the pros and the cons to both. So that's really, really good. Meow. Um, I don't know if he's going to come over or not. Oh no, 
we are on the table. Hello, you. You know if you'll say hello? You're a cat, you'll just do what you want. <laughs> Why do cats like rubbing themselves on corners? Not the webcam! <laughs> Oh god, I've got cat mayhem going on now. <laughs> um, but then I got into Age of Sigma. So then the Dark Elder I stopped painting. Still have not finished. Meow. Hey you. Don't show me your bum. Show me your face. <laughs> uh, he's licking everything. It's really strange. Don't lick the table. What's wrong with you? Yeah. So anyway, enough cat loving. Um, <clears throat> so AOS came out and I was more the one that went, oh, this looks really good. Uh, the rules look more simple. The characters look really cool. The art, um, the art design of the models looks really, really cool. I can see myself painting just a few models and just playing and also the idea that I don't I'm not restricted that if I play an army I can't you know use a keyword to bring in other army factions to help me out for example with my chaos slaves of darkness um, I've got a bloodthirster, blossacrator, I've got corn, I've got demonettes from slanesh, I've got uh, flamers from zinge and that really works for my style of gameplay of having shooters, having um, something just dark and evil. Will you stop being silly? And so, yeah, you gonna stay or not? No, good then. So, for me, that really worked a lot that I could implement all these different really cool looking models into one army and play them and not have any restrictions like, oh, you've got this model in it and that's not okay, so you have to reduce something. No, you don't really get that. So, that works out quite nicely for me. And then on to the newer game. So, you had Shadow War Armageddon. Um, and I started getting interested, interested in that because I like sci-fi as well as I like fantasy. And so with that, it really was really cool because it was like Shadow War Armageddon. Necrons, now they look cool, they look nasty. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I can't pause the video, so I will have to rush over if he goes for the plant. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know how you see me and I see you. Good boy. Or maybe not. He's not. No, good. I can see his reflection, which is quite useful. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um so yeah so necrons and then it went from necrons to forge bane and forge bane then had adaptus mechanicus now these were already out on sale and i was eyeing them up i'm going oh i like i like this mechanicus i like this necrons i like this aos faction i like this other aos faction and i've got to go yeah no Stop eating the plants. No, no, no. You can go out this one now. Being silly boy. Switch balconies for him and he's not happy about it because he doesn't get to eat the plant. But I saved the plant, so my boyfriend should be proud of me for the adventure that I did. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so Necrons, Adaptus Mechanicus I really, really like. Not sure about the dwarves um, for AOS. I like the steampunk idea that there's a faction in the past and it's gone off 
into another area and it's been doing things and then hence why it's not like traditional dwarfs it's a bit more advanced that I kind of like um, but yeah so that's me really I love painting I have been literally these last few days I have been distracting myself because I've not been very well and I've just been putting together all my Necrons all my Adaptus Mechanicus from my Forge Bane set uh, that I got. Um, and now I'm starting to put together my undead army and I'm now making Neferata and she is a pain to put together. I'm always constantly like trying to put something on and I'm like no! And we have sort of grey blue carpet. Grey blue carpet when you are trying to take out and uh, clip out from the sprues grey blue plastic we've had a hell of a lot of disasters where we've gone where is it where's it gone you know so we have the worst carpet for this hobby um and talking about hobbies quickly um i just like to say that i have now started to get into magic the gathering so my card games from netrunner from um the lord of the rings um to arkham Arkham Horror to you know all these lovely card games and I and Hero Realms and Sci there's the sci-fi version Star Realms so you got Star Realms as well and all these games I can understand because I see all the little mechanics that's between them Ascension as well with their different expansions really helps to understand the little nuances and similarities between well this is health but it's got a different word so just call it health you know but it's a different symbol but it means the same thing so the different representations of the same thing basically makes it very easy for me and I've just got into Magic the Gathering I tested the app on Android to play and I learned about the mana and I learned about you know using the creatures and the spells and all of that um, there's still some questions I have and now my boyfriend bless him as a present to which he went this is it this is the only time that i am indulging your new obsession of uh, of magic because we have already got an expensive hobby we do not need another expensive hobby but uh he he is happy to play he's happy to play the game with me when i fancy but i do understand that i am very very far at the edge of um being completely out of ever getting the chance to win a game of magic just with a card just with a core card set really you know the fact that i've got just a core set and like how many people are into magic and those that are into magic how many have already adapted their um their deck building so that their decks their personal decks are like this grandiose hard to beat like my basic core card set is not gonna cut it so at the moment as long as players are happy to use their core set if they ever have one then i will be happy to play or if they allow me to share some of their deck or you know whatever have a look through and play out that'd be really really cool but you know as a set uh, as I was saying that with me when I start buying Magic the Gathering cards it's going to be a long long time before I have a deck a personalised deck that can actually kick some ass. well that's me I'm going to leave it before it becomes 20 minutes long uh, I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on or as we said in Xander's video like geek or gaming rambling should be grambling so uh i hope you've enjoyed me grambling <laughs> um but yeah so that's me with my style of play um i can do cooperative when it's needed i don't really enjoy it but i'll do it uh, if everyone else wants to play a cooperative game I'll play it and I'll still have fun but I'll still just want to really secretly I'll be like I want to be like have a game like Descent where I am you know trying to stop you all not help you all <laughs> so yeah I am not a nice player when it comes to games never have been video games board games I'm I'm very very Sauron style <laughs> But yeah, yeah. 
Okay, well, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I will be um, updating more videos, more content. Um, tell me what sort of games um, that you think are underdogs. And yeah, subscribe. And I will also be trying to uh, keep adapting my videos to let them get better. Lighting, sound, music, blah, 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 the more sort of tech side of it um, needs to develop, I know. And also, if I ever play a game, and I'll say it anyway during the game itself, you know, if ever um, there's a mistake, if ever... Um, there's something I've done that's not quite right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please put in the comments down below. Oh, uh, round two, you forgot to do this. Round three, you forgot that. Blah, 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 blah. Because it'll help me to, you know, be more, um, more coordinated. Because I've got this, which is new to me still, really. Um, and then I've got the game. And then it's trying to make sure that you can see the game. <laughs> And I'm concentrating on what I'm doing in the game, and yeah, so it can be a bit of a, it can be a bit of a, a lot of things to juggle. So those that have been doing this sort of uh, video gaming thing for a long time, you know, I can understand that it's actually more difficult than it actually looks, and just putting a webcam in front of a game and just playing the game and expecting it to look magical and that uh, you don't have to edit something or maybe you do have to edit something or maybe you've got to think you know have I missed something am I doing it correctly so yeah yeah okay thanks bye